Learning to code is awesome, but you usually have to remember tons of little quirks. Thanks to Notion, we can take notes in a clever way and find the exact information we need whenever we need it. Let's have a look at my Notion setup for learning different programming languages. This is Nadza here, co-founder and tech artist at MyDesign. If you like the content, please leave a like, subscribe and follow me on the other social media. It really helps a lot. That said, let's jump into this database and see how we can organize coding notes in Notion. This is the main database page with different programming languages. We see the name of the language. We have a property for the status. So the ongoing are the programming languages I'm currently studying. And then we have the completed languages and just the listed languages. I will probably look into in the near future the level of knowledge I am at and then I like to keep track of the source I'm currently uh, using for learning that kind of language so right now I have solo learn Screamba and YouTube I always like to put uh, the tags uh, property connected to my master tags database and then I have uh, coding projects related to the different programming languages I listed here. Everything is sorted by status so we have the ongoing at first, the listed and in the end the completed ones if we take a look at the CSS, that is the language I'm currently studying, um, the setup is pretty simple. I have just a um, title and different toggles. So I can have a quick list of the different topics here without distraction. If we start opening up these toggles, I have the different sections with text, uh, highlights, uh, callouts area. And if we move on down here, we can see I start putting uh, code snippets as small examples, in this case in HTML and then further here in CSS. We can keep scrolling and opening up the different topics and then collapsing what we don't need. What I find useful of this process is that um, I prepared this uh, template button here. If we take a look at the configuration, we have toggle with uh, h2 title a uh, simple text area code snippet area and just separator area for better spacing the different sections so if we go to solo learn a website that i really like for a first run for the complete basics on uh, different um, languages. I really like the fact that for every topic there are a lot of uh, interactions by the community. So if for example I go on with the next topic here, text decoration, this is the first brief explanation so if I have to learn this new topic and take notes about it, in this case I would um, go back to our 
CSS in Notion. I can just click the new section button and call it, let's say, text decoration. And open it up and repeat the same title to make it more prominent. And then I can start copying what I like or writing down notes, of course. In these cases, if you want to copy uh, all the block together, and if we do it uh, straight away, we will have this kind of mess of different text areas uh, all disconnected by each other. The simple thing to do in order to avoid that is to paste the text in the address bar, select all, copy again, and we can go back to the CSS in Notion. And now the text is all in one text block, so we can rearrange the text more quickly. We can use the code decoration to highlight some words and then moving on to make some text bold and I usually like to use the yellow background for that really classic really nice And then if we go back to SoloLearn, we can skip the HTML area. But let's say we want to keep this example and save it in our Notion. We can go here, paste the snippet, and it's everything clean and nice. So we can go back here every time and see a lot quicker how this text decoration can be applied and then what I like to do for images that I found interesting and useful is to copy the link to the image and embed them directly in Notion and make them full width as you can see, I like in this case to have uh, the not full width page because I found it too much for code and uh, uh, notes. I also like to use the mono style because it really resonates with coding and programming languages so it's looking quite nice and then lastly if I find some snippet of text that I think it's important to remember I copy it and I use a callout and I usually like this um, style with the pin icon and the yellow box so we have copied everything we wanted for this section about text decoration in CSS. Everything is clean, uh, simple and easy to read and reach out to. The really nice thing is that doing so allow us to find information pretty fast. So for example, I forgot about canvas in HTML I can just search in Notion 
I've already studied the basics of HTML, so I already have notes about it. I can jump directly to the canvas section in my HTML notes. And also the text of the code is already highlighted because that was the search result I just did. I can read the info I need. I can see the example. I can have these really explicative images and I can go back to my work, my coding, my project. And I have all the info I need at my fingertips. I used the same system and the same template also for HTML. I will keep using it and refine it along the way. Uh, probably when the topics will be more complex and wide, I will change a little bit the structure of it. But for now, for the basics of these programming languages, I find it really nice, really simple, but effective. In this case, we have also a quick resources area here at the top. So here is the HTML course in, on SoloLearn and here uh, online HTML compiler I found on the web. Everything you see here from this database and the courses and the page of the different languages will be available for free in the description below. Uh, I will keep updating this database over time so you can also have my notes about the different programming languages I'm learning. I hope that this template and these notes will help some of you at least. These are my programming languages notes in Notion. So see you to the next one. Oh, 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 oh,